Hot air shrinkage is important specifically in the manufactured rubber goods industry such as belts and hoses. Um, if you use a high shrinkage yarn in a hose, for example, it'll constrict around the inside tube in the hose and draw the diameter down, rendering your product useless. Here we're going to demonstrate ASTM D4974, the hot air shrinkage test. The shrinkage test is performed at a temperature of 177 degrees Celsius for two minutes, and we use a pretension weight that is 0 0.05 grams per denier. For this example, we're going to use a thousand denier low shrink material, so that means I need a 50 gram weight to apply as pretension. I'm going to secure the 50 gram weight to the yarn. and put the yarn in the clamps, resetting the scale to zero. And we're gonna wait for two minutes and read the result. When the timer expires, you read the shrinkage value in percent on the scale. This particular sample has a shrinkage of 1.2%. For comparison, we'll look at a thousand denier high shrinkage yarn using the same method. Again secure the weight and fix the yarn in the clamps and start the test. As you can see even the initial shrinkage is much higher So again, you read the results on our scale, we're at about 8.5% shrinkage. Now to demonstrate the difference that the pretension weight makes, we're going to do an example of the same material using a 9 gram weight. This is important because many raw material manufacturers specify a shrinkage method. When they do not specify a shrinkage method or when we're testing finished goods, we always default to the ASTM method. So again, we have a sample with a nine gram weight, 177 degrees for two minutes, and we'll start the test. As you can see already, a lower weight gives you a higher shrinkage. As you can see, the shrinkage for this sample is about 12.6%. So you can see that you know, a lower weight really does make a huge difference as far as the results that you'll get doing a shrinkage test.